for today's lesson, you are going to need your sketchbook, a pencil, a black marker, and crayons, markers, or colored pencils, something that you can color with. Today we are going to be drawing a picture of an abstract cat. So our cat is not going to look realistic, but we're going to be able to tell that it is a cat. I'm going to start with an oval up at the top for my cat's head. I'm going to put this right up at the top, leaving enough room for my ears. And then I'm going to do a big teardrop shape for my body. So I'm starting kind of like the top of a triangle, coming down like a circle, and then back up to end that triangle to make that teardrop. I'm going to add a tail off to one side. Next, I'm going to add ears. These can just be triangles. Um, they can be a little bit curved on the sides if you want to. I'm going to add that second triangle on the inside. For my eyes, I'm going to draw shapes that look kind of like a football or a lemon. So it's kind of a curved line like a rainbow and then that same line underneath. I'm going to add where the circles would be in the eye. So those are just two curves, one on either side. And then that pupil or that black spot in a cat's eye is more like a long stretched out kind of football again, standing on end instead of a circle like ours. Next, I'm going to add a triangle upside down for the nose and then my two curved lines for my mouth. Lastly, up here, I'm going to add my whiskers. I'm going to put some feet at the bottom where I'm going to do a curved line and then a scalloped line underneath for those toes. I'm doing that on each side to create my cat's two feet. Once I have the body of my cat drawn, I'm going to draw my lines for my background. I'm just going to break up my background into a bunch of different shapes using straight lines. So you can take those lines all the way out to the edges. You can break up those sections in the background if you want to also. This is just going to help us um, have some different spaces to color in in our background so that it's not all one color. Once you have everything drawn with your pencil, you're going to outline with a marker Try to stay right on those pencil lines, but like always, if there are pencil lines still showing when you are done, then you need to erase those so that we can't see them. Once you have everything outlined and pencil lines erased, it is time to color. You need to think about how you want your cat to look. Cats come in lots of different colors. You have orange tabby cats that might have some um, some lighter orange stripes and then the rest of it is dark or you might have cats that have black stripes that are orange or you might have brown cats. You can have um, calico cats have orange and brown and white spots on them. We've included some pictures of cats on the website so that you have ideas for different colorings for cats and really this is your picture. So if you want to make a cat with pink and purple polka dots or green zigzag stripes, feel free to make that a part of your picture. At the beginning, we talked about this being an abstract cat, which means it's a cat, but we don't, it doesn't look realistic, even though we can still tell what it is. So if you, again, want a green zigzag striped cat, feel free to do that. That will just be part of your abstract design. I'm choosing to do black stripes and then I'm going to color in my cat orange. Um, it's going to look a little bit like a tiger, but it's meant to be um, a orange tabby cat with some black stripes. And then I'm going to color in the ears and the nose and the eyes and get the whole cat colored in. You could even switch and use markers or a different um, type of material instead of just crayons if that's all you've been using. I picked three or four different colors to color in my background and I'm just spreading those out around my picture um, however I like and whatever I think looks the best. Once you are done coloring in your background then make sure and take a picture of your art piece and upload that to Art Sonia. If you decide to name your cat feel free to make your title of your artwork the name of your cat too. We would be interested to see what fun names you come up with. 